Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, I'll be taking you on a little job because I get often asked, what do you do, what do you do? I do a lot of different things. This is one of them. Let's go. Today we are cleaning two silos. This is a factory where they do a lot of stuff with corn and they produce, let me watch the rope that the, everything goes smoothly. Beautiful. Uh, they do a lot of stuff with corn here. Uh, there's two silos empty right now and they need to be cleaned of some of the residue that's not, not that stuck. Maybe it got a little bit of humidity in there or whatever, but we need to just take a brush and take it down. We got the permit, we got the lockout tag out okay. And we did our toolbox and risk assessment and everything. We have rigged for rescue and we have rigged up a tripod. And in the tripod, we have an X safe winch and we did two methods. I did the first silo and we found out that it was better to change it a little bit. So I will tell you what we changed. So when I went down, I had the, my backup line on the back and the ASAP was at the top. So there was no backup rope dangling beneath me, which could get in the way or get tangled. And I was rigged to rescue in an ActSafe winch by Skylotech or the steeled one, but okay, these days it's Skylotech. I was de descending myself. If anything would have happened, my colleague at the top could just lift me up by controlling the handle. Very easy, but when I came down or it was like a couple of meters from the ground, I, I saw that due to the stretch in the system that my rope was already hit way down into, out of the silo into whatever machinery is there. And I hate it when that happens because if the lockout tech out procedure is ineffective, which at some plants it definitely is. And maybe somebody turns on some other machinery that's not maybe connected to this silo specifically, but on the beltway below. And maybe where my ropes get caught and then all kinds of weird stuff can happen. So I immediately lifted up the rope and I finished the job. And after... Cool. And after... Yes. And after we decided that Bart, my colleague, he's down right now cleaning the second silo and the final one for today, that he is suspended in the rope, directly hooked into the rope, and he is letting, descending himself with the XSafe remote. Gives him control of where he needs to go. He's not dependent on me for up and down. And if anything would happen, oh, and there's no rope uh, all the way to the bottom. And if anything would happen, I can just lift him up and pull up the backup as well. As you can see, I will overlay the footage right now. I have the rope in the ASAP going through the roll clip with the pulley because it's easier on the pull up. All I have to manage or keep monitoring is that it doesn't slide down automatically through the ASAP because of the weight of the rope. But right now it's still very consistent. It's about three quarters of the way down. And I just keep monitoring that the rope's coming from there. just run into the device smoothly and that's it easy days today well not easy if you're hanging there and doing the thing with the brush but you can see it in the footage as well we have one big light shining and illuminating everything and there's a way there's enough visibility for what we're doing and uh here it goes again so now i can see a little loop coming And it's out. Just doing some more. Oh, and I'm attached, of course. I'm attached when I'm sitting close to the Oh, All right. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to always be notified as soon as I release a new upload. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by heading over to Patreon, www.
patreon.com slash the rope access channel and become a level one patron uh, if you do that that means that you buy me a cup of coffee as soon as you go sit down to watch this video over there i also ask some further questions or i re I, I do little pre-announcements sometimes i release the videos a little bit early but for now there's only a level one tier in the future there'll be further tiers where we go into full-on support of all the things that are related to rope access Yeah.